Sorry about my bag. That's all right. Very down low. This is the first time strapping bikes into a canoe, so it's a bit of a experiment process. See how this will fit in all our bags and a dog. Yeah. By this time, we'll probably have more experience than anybody else in doing this. <laughs> After we're done. <laughs> yeah. Now, most people opt for easier but more expensive methods of transportation. Yep either a boat or even a helicopter. But since Michael and I are experienced canoeists, we were up for the full adventure. You ready? You ready for this? And as you can see, this is how shallow the bottom end of Pitt Lake is. You can basically walk across most of it and there's a channel cut for boats to get through up the middle of the lake. And it's raining a bit, but we're still good. We're dry. Yeah, the beer's wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's been lightly drizzling this whole time, but uh, it's not raining too hard. And uh, the wind is behind us, so it's actually really helping push us down the lake. And uh, I think we're making good progress. I did not see that side. Like, I feel like I can barely see something down there. See what I'm saying? Yeah the horizon, but uh, yeah, it's cold a little bit, but great. The north end of Pitt Lake behind me looks a lot like a fjord got really steep walls of rock that just go straight into the lake and the color is a little bit of a greenish a light greenish blue Good girl. so we just made it to the end of pit lake after six and a half hours paddling which is actually pretty good time considering the distance we covered this is where the transition to bikes starts, and we have 21 kilometers down the logging road to the hot springs. If they actually match. <laughs> Let's do this. Hey, Nina. Saturated. Put the bikes together, we got our bags packed, ready to hit the road. It's really good to be on a bike now. New mode of transportation. These fresh cut cedars smell so good. I expect to see a gnome at any moment in that forest. It's all covered in moss. Looks like elves live there. So we made it, we're here. Nina made it all the way. Time for a uh, pork chop in a can. That was a long one. Yeah. <laughs> over over 21 kilometers. By sea. Yeah. By land. Yeah. And Nina made it all the way. You're such a good girl. She ran the whole way. I'm digging the plant life, that's for sure. All these roots. All the and my tent is also not a small footprint. Yeah. 
pretty nice. I really like it. This camp spot's taken already with three tents. So we'll have to find another spot. It looks so magical. <laughs> the color of this river is just mind boggling. So vibrant. Taste the rainbow, man. So, this is actually the cliff you have to scale down to get to uh, the hot springs. And it's pretty steep and slippery. You always gotta bring snacks when you go, so <laughs> makes it even more dangerous. I'm standing. Yeah, this is deep. No wonder they call these like things. This is amazing. This is the absolute most incredible way to wake up in the morning. Just come down here and soak in the hot springs. It is so beautiful, really. Right next to the river, the water is a perfect temperature in this pool. And the other pool is actually too hot right now. It's scalding. I put my foot in there for 10 seconds and it hurt. That's how hot it is. As we reached the end of the lake, we had a sense of accomplishment from our human-powered adventure. Our legs and our arms were the engines which powered us to the hot springs and back, and this was the largest distance I'd ever paddled we did it. Boom. on two back-to-back -back days, about 50 kilometers. 
and my shoulders are absolutely finished. How do you feel? I told you I'm gonna get a sponsorship for my back muscles from a protein powder company. 